Hello and welcome to our tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to try and make a uh, human face. Now we're not going to get the whole thing done in one session um, and what we're going to try and make is quite complicated so um, we'll take it um, simple and, and uh, straightforward hopefully at the beginning anyway. So um, before I uh, we get stuck into making a human face I'm gonna just um, open this image here and have a quick look at it um, so this is uh, an image I found just through doing a Google search um, and so this is the reference image that we're going to use now uh, it's an interesting image in the sense that um, it's got uh, the reason I'm using it is it's got, got these lines on it as reference so uh, there are many many images we can use um, I think there are uh, yeah so if you just google them you'll find them like if you want to actually use this picture for to wrap around your face later um, you obviously don't want the lines on it <laughs> but uh, this is going to illustrate what we're trying to achieve so um, we want a picture of the side of the head and from the front and we want them aligned so like the top of the ear should be the top of the ear over here the eyeball the eyeball nose to nose mouth to mouth chin to chin so this is very important it's actually quite hard like if you take a series of photographs particularly on a mobile phone mobile phones are terrible for distorting um, objects when you take a photograph with them if the phone is too close because the lenses are going to give you a spherical effect so you make so for example in this photo here the nose would be much bigger etc so uh, so this is a, a decent uh, reference photo so we'll just close that and we're going to look at how we use that in blender so to start with i'm just going to delete my cube so i just press the x key and now i'm going to press uh, shift a and i'm going to add an image that's a reference image now when i do that if i do it now uh, well and i'll just throw in the image we're going to use uh, we won't be able to use it now so it's going to add it in basically angled towards where I was looking so it's going to delete that so I want something that's from the front and from the side so I'm going to press 1 on the numpad so I'm in front orthographic and I'm going to go shift A, do it again, reference, face reference, load so that's it from the front now I also want to load it in from the side so uh, I'm going to press number 3 and I'm going to add in my reference from the side. Now they're kind of offset and that's not how I want them to be. So I'm going to press GY and just slide this forward. I'm also going to press uh, G and X and slide this to the side here. Now where exactly it is is fine. We're going to build our face in kind of in here. So we're not going to use this part of the image and we're not going to use that part of the image. We're going to use the front and the side. So I'm going to press 1 on the numpad and this is what I can see this is all good I'm in front orthographic and now what I'm going to do is something slightly unusual I'm going to move this panel to the right and I'm going to move this entire section to the right <coughs> and I'm going to move my mouse up here to the top right hand corner of the 3d view board and you can see that the mouse has changed into an X uh, and that when I left click now and move my mouse I can split the viewport I can turn this window into anything I want to, you know, I could make it into, I don't know, uh, for a scripting if I wanted to write a, a script. But what I want it to be is another viewport, but instead of being front orthographic, which is what this one is, I'm going to press 3 on the numpad. <coughs> and now I'm looking from the side. So, what am I interested in doing here? So I'm going to center these two objects. So there's my 3D cursor there's my 3d cursor here so I'm going to add um, a plane I'm going to spin myself in 3d space here so you can see it's added the plane in there so it's not in the desired position so I'm going to go GY move it forward a little bit and then I want it in front of this guy's face so G X and now what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to go into edit mode and then I'm going to merge those four vertices into one at this center dot. So I'm going to go vertex, merge vertices at center. I'm going to go back to object mode. 
So what I want is this dot here is has one vertex in it. So when I go back into edit mode, I'll have one vertex. And I'm going to press G and place that on the tip of the nose. And what I want is I want the same vertex on the tip of the nose from the side. So I'm going to press G and move it forward here. And just to show you, so these are my reference images. If I press G here and move up and down, you can see it moves up and down here. And if I, on this side, press G and I move left and right, you can't really see it move left and right over here because we're looking from the side. So it's basically moving towards us and away from us. So we don't get a sense of, of depth. Um, in the same way, if I press G here and move it forward and back, you cannot see really that movement over here. And again, that's because it's moving towards us and away from us. So that's the position I want it in, just on the tip. So now, um, yeah, it's fairly centered. Now I'm going to go into edit mode and we're going to start building our face. So I press A to make sure that my vertex is selected. And now by eye, uh, so I'm not typing in measurements here because this is sort of organic modeling. So I'm going to press E for extrude. And I'm going to move my mouse and I'm just going to extrude this out, press E and move my mouse a few times. And I'm trying to follow sort of the contour, the shape of this guy's head. Now, how many of these should I put in? Well, again, that kind of relates to what's the character going to be used for. Is the character going to be, um, you know, full screen, close up of its face, in which case you need lots of geometry. Uh, if it's going to be a background peripheral character, then you don't need that many uh, verts in it. So we're kind of going to make a, a simple character to begin with. So I've so left clicked on this vertex and I'm going to press E and I'm going to extrude downwards. Now we're going to leave the mount closed for this exercise. We'll have a look another day at how we create teeth and internal geometry and how we would articulate that. Okay, and we'll leave it there. So we're not gonna try and make the whole face uh, in this one session because it's too complex. But what we're gonna start on is the eye and how we would build the eye socket. And then maybe in the next um, video we'll build on that. So I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna select that vertex. And I'm gonna press E and extrude it inwards. And it hasn't moved over here. So I'm going to press G on this side and reposition it to the distance I think it should be. Now, if I do that, this guy's going to have a really sharp nose. So it's going to be almost sort of like a pyramid. So I'm actually going to move this back out. So I'm going to go G and then extrude it again. And I'm going to press G on this side and move it in. And then the next time I extrude, I'm going to go to the corner of the eye. So I'm going to press E to extrude and go to the corner of the eye. Now on this side, I can't see the corner of the eye. It's hidden behind the eyeball. So I'm just going to have to make a judgment call. So I'm going to press G and move this in. And I'm going to guess that it's approximately there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to make geometry around the eye. And then after I've extruded it around, I'm going to come back here and try and position it on this side because it's going to be flat after I do that. So I'm going to press extrude and okay, and then I'm going to select these two together, holding on the shift key. And I'm going to press the F key to create a face. In this case, because there's only two selected, it'll create an edge. Now. This is the correct shape here, but as you can see, it's completely flat on this side. It has no depth. So let's go fix that. So we'll select these two here, and we'll press GY, move that back to there. So that goes there. This needs to go forward. Now you can see these aren't perfectly aligned, these two pictures. So some of this I'll have to use my judgment as to exactly where um, 
it should go. Um, so this is not a science. Okay, so that's now what I have as I rotate through 3D space. So I've got this kind of crude skeleton um, outlined of the um, of my eye. So uh, there's a number of ways I can proceed from here. Um, the easiest way is to extrude out of these um, uh, each one of these uh, vertices. So let's, um, I'm going to take this one here, I'm going to press G and just move it down a little bit. I'm going to bring this along sort of the top of the eyelid. So it's going to be around here. So I'm going to extrude. And then this time when I do it, I want to match the geometry. So if I've got one here, I want one below because I'm going to make faces here join all, joining all this together. Again, this is going to be flat on this side, so I'm going to have to reposition it. Okay, and then we'll worry about how we join this up in a moment. So let's take these two, move them back to there. And this guy here, I'm just pressing G. ones back. Again some of this I'm having to just use my sort of my judgment as to where they should or should not be. Okay now here's where sort of the magic, um, if magic is the wrong word, but here's how where we get interesting. So I can select this whole like these sets of vertices and I'm being careful that I have a matching number of verts. So I just held down the shift key there and clicked on everything. And now I can go edge, bridge edge loop, and it will create the faces for me. So I can do that again. So I'm gonna take this guy here. Uh, actually, let's take that one so I can see it here. So the brow is gonna come back out. So I'm gonna extrude that out. And then I'm gonna bring this around. Same on this side here. Okay. And again, I'm gonna have to reposition them. So you can see there's sort of a method to this. Um, so you're creating on one side and then repositioning on the other. I could as easily create on this side and then reposition over here. Um, but in the current sort of setup, it makes sense to do it Oops, this way. Okay, and again, we can uh, put in a loop cut. Um, so let's. So I, I, the loop can't join, so I can't actually select these two. So I can. Select these guys here, and I can go edge, bridge edge loop, and then if I want to fill this one in, I have to go to select the four and press F, and then I just do the same for that four and this four. Now, we'll worry about, you know, this is quite crude at the moment, so it doesn't look organic or it doesn't look smooth, uh, but that takes a little bit of time to sort of build up what we're trying to do. Um, so um, if it doesn't look perfect right from the beginning, like I'm going to have to fix all of these and reposition them. Um, don't be too alarmed if it doesn't look good right at the beginning. Um, so I'm going to do one more loop to sort of complete the eye socket and the cheek. 
and I'm going to stop because we're yeah 15 minutes in. So let's um, extrude that one up. So we'll position that roughly there. And then I'm going to extrude sort of around through the eyebrow. And this is sort of now we're at the edge of sort of the eye socket and where it might be. So and then we'll have a, a little look at the sort of the techniques we might use to make this a little more you know organic looking. Um, and then we'll save it with all of its the reference images in their correct position and we will um, so I'm just going to hold down the alt key and select that loop I'm going to hold down shift and the alt key and select that loop so um, I can't have these two so oops I can't have those two selected so I just held down shift there and deselected them the rest are all fine, so I can go edge, bridge edge loop, and I can just select this last face and press F. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into object mode. And the uh, this at the moment is called plane, so I'm going to rename this, going to call it face. And I'm going to have a little look at some of the, oops, the tools available to me here. Um, so I can turn off some of these things. So these two empties here. So this is, um, if I zoom out, this is the front. So we'll call this face front ref. And this here is my face right ref. Uh, I'm going to turn them off. And then we can just concentrate on this guy here. So I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier to make it more organic, to make add more geometry. And I'm going to set it to shade smooth. So that looks a lot more like an eye socket than it did you know, 20 seconds ago. And we could you we'll use this like so we've already got 280 in verts, which is not that much for a face. Um, but we're going to use these um, techniques that we've used here to kind of model on one side and then model on the other uh, to complete this face. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to call it save, and we're going to call this uh, face one. Um, and I'll save that, and I'll upload that to uh, OneDrive and share that with you along with this video. And then in our next tutorial, we'll build on that. Uh, we'll try and build the nose and the mouth. Uh, and then eventually f uh, finish the whole head. And then in the future, you probably won't make a head like this. Um, there's numerous ways to sculpt a face. You can start with a cube and just do um, go into sculpt mode. Uh, but it's good to know all of the tools uh, needed to create a face like this from scratch and use this technique here, which is referred to as polygon editing. Um, so it's kind of an older technique, but um, it's very effective. And normally you would use this in combination with other techniques. So if you wanted to do sculpting, it's normally better to start your sculpt with, you know, a, a kind of a generic head. So we'll probably use what we make here in this exercise, not as a finished product, but as basically a starting point for then going into edit mode and sculpting, um, you know, a more refined and detailed face. Anyway, so we'll pause for now and then we'll come back and finish this off in the next tutorial.